Monday. Uh, Chelsea's over here for some reason, off camera. I'm not sure why. It's not actually that cold in here today. Um, uh, what are we doing today? Oh, today uh, we have a very exciting workout planned for everybody. Yeah, yes, we do. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing uh, – there's two parts to this one. Um, they're both 10-minute uh, AMRAPs, so as many rounds as possible in 10 minutes. Um, you can record rounds plus reps on the tracker. Uh, the first round's predominantly upper body. We're going to do round the world. We're going to do 10 per side of those. We're going to do weighted push and pulls. Uh, so we often do these with the kettlebell just to uh, drag them forwards and backwards. We're going to do shoulder touches, uh, which we've done many times, so press-up position touching across, and then robot press-ups. So there's quite a lot of core involved in this one as well. And then round two is going to be more leg intensive. Um, we're replicating some jujitsu movements specifically. We're going to be doing double legs, uh, neon belly switches, top spins, and turandos. I'll get Chelsea to demonstrate all of these uh, before we get going. We're just going to her kettlebell before we get going. We need that for around the world, or I'm going to need that for around the world. Oh, okay. We're going to do that around the world. Oh, you're going around the body. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay, so yeah, uh, you might want a bag of books or a dumbbell or You're definitely gonna need something to some push. kind of weight uh, that you can push and pull. And same for the round the world, uh, round the the round the world, which is we have two exercises called round the world, so that's problematic because uh, I thought it was something entirely different. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, there we go. So uh, first thing we'll do is we'll get a little bit warm and then we'll go from there. So as it's Monday. We're going to just go through. Do your version of Around the World if you prefer. That's the leg one. That's fine. We'll do my version of Around the World. That's rough. Uh, we'll, switch that up. we'll switch it up so it's going to be five per side because tens a lot and takes a really, really long time. So, first thing I want you guys to do, you're going to go into a downward facing dog position here, trying to push, push your weight backwards. And then I want you just to gently start pedaling the feet. Okay. My calves are still hurting from God, I haven't heard Friday. the end of it. My calves hurt. It. My calves hurt. Just relax into this position. Okay. Take one leg up. Try and open out those hips. Oh, that's nice. I'm really enjoying this. And then go towards that uh, same side arm. Oh, same thing up again. Open it. Oh, and then in towards your nose, put the nose touch, open it, and then across to that opposite elbow, one more time, open it up, and then all the way to the outside, okay. You don't need socks today, I'm just extra fashionable. We're going to do some thoracic rotations, so just rotate up one side. The other side. Okay. Woo! <sighs> got stuck. Yeah, stuck. I got stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Now one hand either side. We're gonna do our lunge, followed by our uh, whatever position this is called hamstring stretch. Lunge. Drop it down. Move it back between the two. You know what, I, I feel like we're, we're just in Groundhog Day. Yeah, pretty much we are. And it's just... Yeah. Nice. Okay, hands out in front. So we're in this uh, wide leg position. Okay. You spend a couple of seconds. You can walk all the way around to one side and then walk back again. You try and feel what's Tight. For me, my IT band's quite tight right now. Yeah. Chelsea's going to do her own thing. Nice. Okay, leg back. Down into a low push-up position. Or if you can't do that, then you can stay in this, this high plank position. It's fine too. Or you can do what you want. Or you can just do what you want. It's up to you. Most people don't like doing what they want. Okay, into Cobra. I mean, for stretching though, you gotta you gotta stretch what feels bad. <laughs> yeah, certainly when we come to the end. Yeah. 
my hamstrings for some reason are really bothering me lately. So that's what I'm stretching. Nice. Okay. Just do the other side. So pull back, pulse. And again. And then up to the ceiling. To that front of that knee. Oh, elbow, sorry. And then in towards your nose. And then all the way across. One more time. Up. Big giant step in front. I have to run the house really fast. And then some thoracic rotations. Chelsea's running away because she's so scared of this workout. I need to. I need to. I'll just go. <laughs> Nice. Keep going from side to side. Okay, now lunge hamstring stretch. Drop that knee back down. A little gentle touch, and then pull it back straight. Keep alternating between the two. Okay, into our Cossack stretch. Moving across one side to the other. Take your time with it. Nice. Okay, we're just gonna do some of these uh, hip rotations as well. Again, take your time, don't go too crazy. Try and get that little bit of an extra Stretch at the end. Good. Okay. Then we'll do a 90 90 stretch. Just is back, everybody. Return. Yeah, I know. It's that the grass. I cut it yesterday and it just kind of all came in. Nice. As a mile. Okay, so I pretty much uh, I often use this first round of the, the workout as a uh, a warm up. Yeah, as an active warm up and then start to progress the pace. Do you need this? So no no no. We're gonna go through uh, the exercises. The first one around the world. Uh, we do these, this, this is my version, really good for your, actually for your guard retention. Um, I learned this from Braulio many, many moons ago, which is the number one drill for uh, developing guard flexibility and retention. So you're going to start here. <laughs> so you're going to start here. I think it's important people understand the, the, the purpose exercise, of what we're doing. Exercise, I'll, I'll talk as long as I want. So from here, legs are, feet are going to stay as close to the ground as you can. You're going to move them around towards the outside. My goal is to try to keep my shoulders relatively flat and then all the way up around my head and then down towards the other side. That will be one. We're going to do five each side, which is 10 in total. We're going to have to stagger our, um, our workout because yeah. we've only got one kettlebell and there's not enough space for us both. To do the this. second one is our push and pull. Okay, I'm going to start with pull. It doesn't really matter which way around you start. I'm going to pull towards me and then I push back. Okay, the towel. Seems to be working okay. We'll see how long that lasts. Our mystery towel, we don't know where it came from. <laughs> Trying to find the what, yeah, we don't know where this came from. Uh, 10 per side of those. Uh, shoulder touches, very simple, be in a uh, press up position. Now, when you do these, try not to let your hips rotate or walk or roll or any of those kind of things. You want to keep your, um, your core strong, that's part of the point of it. Uh, that is 10 per side, and then robot press ups. You're just going to, let me go this way around, you can see, you're going to drop down to the forearms and then come back up. That would be one repetition. Okay. That's hair. <laughs> That's our first round. So we have 10 total around the worlds, 10 each side of the push pulls, 10 shoulder touches each side, and then 10 robot press ups. Total, Charles and I will stagger. Um, and we'll also probably end up jumping around. Uh, the exercises because that's typically what happens when we're when we're doing these things together because um, we go at different speeds. So 
let's get started as soon as I find my timer. What are you starting on? Uh, I don't know. What do you want to start? Doesn't matter. Okay, uh, you can start on the round the world then. I'm going to start on the sh shoulder touches, I think. Actually, no, I'm going to start on the push balls. Okay, so I'm only going to do one, one exercise to get down. Uh, stretch. <laughs> Here we go, guys. So you should see the timer going off in the background. I might move this. <laughs> I think that's probably a good idea. <laughs> We're going to move this I out of the way. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> it's five each side, right? Yeah. There we go. Cosmic shoulder touches. Ten each side. What comes after the around the world? Push balls. Okay. And take the soft top. No. Touches, right? Yeah. Whew. So, one round done. We need to sort my towel out. Is there anything else? Uh, oh, robot touches. Robot. Right? Where I lay, I can't get my legs enough space. You just gotta work around it. <laughs> just gotta work around it, alright? There's a lot of complaining going on from this side over here today. Look at all of the space you have over there. I have one square.
Two and some of what rounds up. <laughs> Two and some? Is that Two and some, some, yeah. Three. Sort my towel out again. Yeah, I've already done them. Now it's feeling my Really messed it up. Because it's, it's like you're hanging off a bar. Yeah. And A minute left.
Hands Okay, so now I got four rounds and thirty-seven. How many exercises were there? Four. four. That's four rounds and thirty-two. That baby is awake. Yeah, she's been down for a while. Punch out the window. Do you want me to get her or do you want me to get her? Okay guys, so round two. Round two is going to be a little bit more intense. There's some other exercises in there that we might not have done before. It's going to be an AMRAP as well. We These are all, yeah, jiu-jitsu based poop movements. These are review from the, um, from yeah. the lesson last week actually. So we had a, a lesson that we, we ran through last week. Okay. Uh, and these are kind of a review of them. The first one is the double leg. Uh, Chelsea, you want to show these? So double leg, pretty simple. You get a lever change. Front knee goes to the ground, to the side. Lever change. Lever change, absolutely. Okay, knee on belly switch. Okay, so this is just like you, uh, let's say you have an opponent, this towel is gonna to be Chelsea's opponent, because why not? So head end is towards the camera. She's so gonna go hands to the ground, switch to the other side. That's going to be 10, and we're going to go top spins, okay, uh, top spins, basic movement, so you're going to step over the head and go from there, and then turiandos, okay, so turiandos, we're just going to uh, start in our upright position, drop to the side, come back up, drop to the other side, okay, so just roughly, obviously a double leg is quite obvious, the knee on belly switch is when we're here, I'm turning towards her, she switches to the opposite side. Uh, the next one, the top spin, kind of a similar thing from the neon base. Okay, so we're here. We're in our side control position. I'm coming up with the underhook. She's going to step around the head towards my back and control from there. And then the Toriando one, the last one, we're here. She's in passing posture. She's going to, like, obviously, she complete the pass or enter into the pass from that position. Then I come back and she's switching either to the same side or to the opposite side. Okay, rep ranges are five double legs, and then everything else should be five per side. Okay, so you've got 10 uh, knee on belly switches in total, not, 10 top spins. I thought they were five double legs per side. No, we can do five double legs. You're going to do five double legs per side. Everything is just 10. Okay? Everything is so just 10. Okay, guys. 10 minutes. Again, record. This should be fast paced, and um, obviously, you're going to try and push yourself a little bit more, so it's replicating uh, more jiu jitsu based movements. Um, I guess I'll start with Neon Valley and you can do double legs. Yeah, can you draw a towel? Sure. It's up to you. Sometimes even like a little, I, I find that even having like a towel or something small or a pillow, it just allows me to maintain my frame of reference. Got Kieran. Okay. We have a grappling dummy. If you build a grappling dummy, you can utilize that. You can use a gi jacket. It's just something that, that shows you where your where the head end is, where the foot end is, and maybe gives you a little bit of height. Okay, it really doesn't matter too much what it is. All right, guys, so first one, I'm going to start with the double legs. Chelsea's going to start with whatever she's starting with.
think I've been doing too many. <laughs> Ten in total. Ten in total. Yeah, that's way too many. Stole my towel. Get, get your dummy. Let's see if I can hold Round four, I'm gonna finish it. Okay, 
Pull his head. Yeah. Chelsea's using my brand new keys now. Seems disrespectful. You have been sitting in here for about six months. <laughs> Everybody's going to be so mad that you have a bunch of new keys <laughs> sitting in plastic. Okay, I'm five rounds done, I think. Ten seconds. Ooh. What do you get? I have no idea. I think I think seven rounds. Is seven? Five. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Can I get the baby? I'm going around my I'll bring her out for some stretching. Okay. I got like five rounds and 27. You put Chelsea on a certain rounds, apparently. But, so, then we're just trying to utilize some more jujitsu specific movements, you know, rather than just squats. The key though, whenever you're doing that kind of like the solo movements is making sure that you get good positioning and you're also visualizing what's happening, okay? So it's no good just kind of going through the reps 
When we're doing this knee on belly switch, it has to be like your partner's turning towards you and you're blitzing to the other side. Same with the top switch, same with all those lines that you're like, don't just go through the movement, engage your mind at the same time. That's kind of the, the key to any solo drilling, okay? Make sure you're focused on what you're doing. You probably saw, we might have seen, I was working different hand positions in my double leg. I was thinking about like utilizing the high crotch, switching to the double, or just snatching straight to the double. Just trying to work on my form, keep my elbows in. Like all of those things are important. And obviously when we don't have training partners, solo drilling is a good way to at least get some practice and start to develop move, movement patterns. So you can work on your posture, your positioning, you know, starting to combine obvious things together. All right guys. So we're gonna finish up, we're gonna do a little bit of stretching. We're gonna work uh, head to toe. We're going in about 30, 35 minutes. So we'll do a quick, quick cool down, utilizing everything, okay? So first of all, grab hold of a belt or a stick or something above your head. And then all I want you to do is just twist from side to side. So we're just starting to open out the shoulders, loosen them off a little bit. Try and keep those the shoulders down, head, neck nice and long, and facing forwards as well, rather than moving your head side to side. Yeah, relax up the arms. Oh, we have a little baby joining us for stretching. Okay, next one, arms over your head, just roll over to one side, and back again. What's daddy doing? What's daddy doing? What's he doing? And shake it out there. Okay, we'll do some dislocations. Same thing. Keep the belt nice and long. Keep it the same speed. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Both arms going up and down at the same time, not offsetting. Different movement. It's not invalid, it's just different. Hello, darling. Hello, darling. Good. Good. Just relax there, shake it out a little bit. Okay, we are going to go uh, hips next. Okay, so uh, we're going to go hands towards the ground. Yeah, in fact, I'm sorry, we're going to go side next. So into this, I guess knee on belly tight position. Uh, we're gonna reach over one direction towards the side here. And let's slide down over towards the other. We wanna do it too. She's already, uh, baby's already in the position. Oh, she's lost it. There we go. Big stretch. <sighs> Big stretch. Okay, switch to the other leg. Same thing, hand down. Lean over. Well, we don't need that anymore, do we? Do we, baby hug? Nice. Okay. We're going to go into uh, King Arthur's position, hand on the knee, hand on the hip, chest up, rotate out. Good, hands on the ground, back leg straight, just dropping forwards and backwards, pulsing and then straightening. Your back knee doesn't need to touch the ground. <laughs> Is it funny? Is it funny? Okay, knee to the ground, grab those toes on the back leg, rotate it out and down, let the weight of your body fall to the ground to get a hip stretch. You need to create a little bit more space you can. And again, just kind of feel where you need that stretch. 
Ha! <laughs> Good you, moose baby. Nice. And then come out, switch to the other side. King off the stretch. And knee hand on the hip, rotate out. Hands to the ground, legs straight and pulsing. Oh, she's coming for you guys. You better be you afraid. Can see, you can see the land shark, the mouth. The mouth, my the mouth invalid camera. Coming. Nice, then back knee to the ground. Grab that leg, drop that hip, and just hang out there. Yeah, let your body weight sink into it. That's what's going to be doing the stretch. Nice. Get up. Okay. Feet together. Legs relatively flat. You're going to reach forwards. We did these the other day. Oh, so for those of you who are watching on Friday, we went back and watched <laughs> the tape. Guess whose legs weren't straight? <laughs> Pulse Was forwards, it might have been mine. Remember, try not to point the hands towards the ground, keep them going straight so you're maintaining um, good upright posture. Get about 30 of these. Remember, it's not how far you go. Be careful, that heater's hot. Should be too. Yeah, but it's still. Okay, still. legs out, wide, into the straddle position. We're going to do the same thing. Over to one leg, a couple of bounces in the middle, a couple of bounces over to the other leg. Again, about 30 times. Those spats are seeing better days, haven't they? Oh, that? Look at them now, all that stain. The sweat. No, it's, it's a stain. It's on the thigh, too. Unless you're you're pooling circular globs of sweat for some reason. Yeah. Dripping. You're dripping? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> yeah, relax there. Okay, last one for today. You're gonna keep those legs straight. You're gonna rock back. As you rock back, breathe out and try and get the toes to touch the ground. And then come forward, stretch. So breathe out as you go forwards. Breathe in and then breathe out. Don't click the buttons. Don't click the buttons. If you want to do this with me, you can do it with me. You ready? Woo! 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 Okay, and just relax there. Go, guys. Woo! Happy training. Hopefully, you guys had a uh, good session. I'm sure, we'll have the baby more. She seems to be. Avoiding napping, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. Remember, if you're part of Escapeology Online or Rolling Dojo, just post it up everything that we've got going on this week. Yeah, we've got lots of stuff going on. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be having live classes. We've got like Q and A's. We've got um, live training. Live training. We also have positional study happening on Friday. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. So get involved, guys. We're also going to be publishing some at-home training plans that you can kind of work through in your own time. Um, yeah, just tons and tons of stuff, match breakdowns. So if you guys want to get involved, cool. Just hit us up, and um, yeah, we'll see you. See you soon.